we stuck in the shelter. This this fool getting clothes, eating all their food. Yeah, you can't good take time. him. You can't take him nowhere. Talk me, to the home. Like, yeah, what you want to do? I ain't making to my best friend, mama friend. Y'all think I'm gonna for that? What's up, y'all? It's your girl Xavier, and I'm back at y'all with another video. Don't mind my edges, don't mind my hair. Yeah, and I heard y'all was um, <laughs> saying I was doing too much live video. No, y'all come on here and confront so, them. You was doing too much in the so live video. So, for her video, I'm gonna be cool. We just gonna talk. <laughs> Hope y'all like it. They didn't say you was doing too much. They, they did. Too. I heard people say it. Okay, y'all, so in the last video, we told y'all we we're gonna give y'all the uh, story time of um, when we had to sleep in the shelter. How long we was in there? Was it 24 day. hours? A day. I mean, just <sighs> to the moment. Yeah, so I guess I'll start it off. First of all, I'm gonna give y'all the backstory of how everything happened. One, like back in the day, we just feel like, I don't know if he feel like that, but I feel like people didn't want us to be together. Did you feel like that? Uh, was that the situation? I don't yeah, think I think that was the situation, situation because. I think it was the situation like, we wanted to have our own. Really, but you give them that your opinion. Yeah, my opinion is I feel like people didn't really want us to be together. I would say I feel like my mama didn't want us to be together, and then I feel like your mama didn't want us to be together. But it was just like I don't want company in my house. I don't want company in my house. Oh and yeah. And I get that. So because when I go over Darnell's house and uh, him had a lot of siblings, it was they always had company. So my mom get tired sometimes. So it was just like you know. In that puppy puppy love stage, we wanted to be up under each other all the time. So you wanted to be up under me. You wanted to be up under me too, because I like you ain't quit your job to be up under me. Clock it, clock it, clock it. I did. Yes, you ain't quit. job. You ain't quit working at the shoe, working at Villa to me. I ain't, I ain't quit that because you're old ass. Okay, you told me you said I quit because I about to be cute. I ain't quit because you. Okay, people can't never take accountability. But, <laughs> so back to what I was saying, so his mom got tired, was like, she tired, all, everybody always over, and we wanted to be under each other all the time. So, his mom be like, uh-uh, tell her to go home, and my mom be like, I don't know why, my mom really didn't want us to get her so darn ill. And this is the crazy part, my sister boyfriend lived with her, but my mom had a problem with so much of him, I don't understand why, so darn Cause I'm, cause I'm goofy, she was, she was like, hey, my goofy ass. But why though? When my sister was younger than me and her boyfriend was way older, her living with us, it's just like, I don't get parents like that, but that's a whole nother story. But man, now my sister was younger than me and her boyfriend was living in our house with her, but it's like every time Danielle came over and stuff, it was a problem. So it got to the point like, we want to be with each other, we need to go get our own crib, we need to move on. Yep, so, <laughs> all right, so we decide. <laughs> To move her cousin. First of all, we decided we were gonna run away. Yeah, first run away. No, it wasn't a run away at first. We, we it said, was a run away because we didn't tell nobody. They ain't, they ain't running away. That means we try to be. Now we ran away. away. We ran away. This is part of the internet too, y'all. We ran away. No, nah, my mama said, yeah, they, they ran away. <laughs> but we gotta get to that detail. All right, so. She, she started talking to her cousin. Her cousin was like, yeah, hey, y'all can stay down here with My me. cousin lived in Wisconsin. Her name mm -hmm. was, my cousin's name was Rayshon, and she lived in Wisconsin, and we was close. So she she knew what I was going through, like, with my mom and stuff, and we wanted to be together. So I was like, can I come down there with you? She was like, yeah, I can come down here. She lived in Wisconsin. Man, y'all, this is the smack dead wintertime. And Wisconsin is not the place you're supposed to be. Wanna wanna dip off to <laughs> change your life, goddamn. That's like going to Iowa, trying to change your life. But we didn't know because we was young. Yeah, but we didn't know. We thought we was like, alright, we gonna get through Wisconsin, new life. How old was we? Um, twenty, and you was eighteen. Eighteen, nineteen, y'all fresh out of high school. Couple couple years, one yeah. year out of high school. Well, yeah, we was ready just to get our own to, yeah. but. You know, she was like, yeah, y'all come out here, go get a job, make this money shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all out here cribbing no time. Fact. So, All right, so we decided to go ahead and bust the move, but we ain't tell nobody. <laughs> we didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell my people, he didn't tell his people, y'all. We just packed our stuff in one big uh, laundry bag. Laundry bag. We had like two, three laundry bags. Yo, we had a laundry bag. We packed our stuff. We didn't tell Mad, y'all. 20, 19 years old. He didn't tell his mama. His mom know everything, so she got to knew what we was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, so like the day of, 
Like, you know, Xavier got her stuff out of her mama grill. Yeah. Her mama didn't really notice, but she did. Because she said something. Yeah. She noticed something, but she ended up taking it to my house. So we at my mama's house. I'm getting my little, little stuff that I'm taking. My mama looked at her instantly. She's like, what y'all gonna do? <laughs> Yo, mama knew from the beginning. Yeah. We didn't even have to tell her nothing. Like, I'm, nah. like, I'm, I'm taking it to her house. And she said she takes my eyes and tell her mom that. So my mom already knew. She said, "Yeah, y'all trying to run away." <laughs> Man, he could have told it. Yeah, we did ass shot to run away. So like he said, I was, we told her. We told her where we going at that time, though. Yeah, we told her like, "Yeah, we gonna go to what kind?" We gonna go to what? Then my mom got around the phone, talked to her people like, "Yeah, they running away, y'all." Yeah. Yeah, down there going to West Coast. <laughs> his mama type. I went out old T T boy. His mama got a phone book. T T T T always in the school. Your mama is the type of mama when she get older, older, she gonna be that old lady that call everybody in the family. Yeah, but yeah, she, she saw the packing. I, I got call my homie. He like, yeah, I took out to the Greyhound. We went to the Greyhound. He went to the Greyhound with bags, y'all. With bags. Do you it's remember cold. how much money we had? It's cold. We had two. Ate it. We had like show. 200 and some dollars. Yeah, and that's because I had did a little, little job for the little energy place. I had like 30 jobs. I did a little job for the little energy place and so we used that money. Yeah. I quit that job right after that. <laughs> we gone. So, yeah, so, uh, so Daniel called his homeboy. We're like, yeah, because y'all you know the Greyhound was cheap. So, we're like, yeah, take us <laughs> to the Greyhound. We put a get on the Greyhound, mad job. Like we keep saying, it was cold in Chicago, snow on the ground. And y'all know it's even cold. No, no, no. It was like one of them. It, it wasn't even it was cold snow there. on the ground. It was cold. It was, it was that time was, which is normally cold. It was snow on the it ground in Wisconsin. It, it was, was like it was late, cold there early in Wisconsin. January. Cause it, it was like early January. Like, matter of fact, when it was February, it was on, um, but it was just beginning yeah. of winter. Yeah. So it was so, like November. All we know, y'all, it was freezing cold. So, yeah. okay, cool. We take the Greyhound. Man, y'all, we going to get We got to the Greyhound. We got to the Greyhound. We had to wait. We had to wait. We, <laughs> we had to wait there. So we waited there at, for at least four or five hours before mm -hmm. we left from there. We were the front of Chicago. Happy as hell. Yeah, so we got on the Greyhound. We got to now. She, you know, it's different parts of Wisconsin. She told she lived in she lived in Applewood, something like that. A, yeah, it's probably with an A, but it we, was out the way. It was out the way, but y'all, I don't know if we were tweaking or she tweaking, but we went somewhere totally different. We went to Milwaukee. Milwaukee, you know, Milwaukee is the normal place you go when you go to. Did we we went to Milwaukee? Yeah, we yeah. wasn't what she was at. Yeah, in Applewood. Yeah, we she was in Milwaukee. Two, three hours, hours away, away y'all. So we get on the Greyhound. We get to Milwaukee, I guess. We was like, yeah, where you at? We like, where you at? We match. We walking in the cold, y'all. We walking in the cold. Remember I called her? She kept on saying, I'm in this building right here. We like, what building? We don't see you, match y'all. We took the Greyhound on, and like we skipping parts. We took the Greyhound to Milwaukee, thinking that's where she stayed. We get off. We um walking. All right, so we asked her like, yeah, what happened? Woo woo. We like, asked yeah. somebody, we was walking. They're like, yeah, bro, that's like asked, two hours away. We asked Madge, we was walking looking for her. We figured out, we know we're around her. We asked somebody, like, where is Applewood, whatever it was called. We was like, what they said? They're like, that shit, fine. That shit, like, two, three hours away. We like, what? I don't think we had no money at that point. I think we only had a few more dollars. No, nah, we, we was up one something, but this is like the one something we needed just to try yeah. to put moves. So, all right, boom. So, when somebody says, oh, yeah, that's like, Two hours away, we like whoa, we in the wrong spot. We, but wrong we had a great spot. Hour. We had a great hour, but we back. This one here was like one of the coldest days in Milwaukee. It was negative ten. Yeah, it, it was, was so negative ten. Oh y'all, match out. No, not exaggeration. It was negative ten. Match out, we got. We was already in the great house. They wasn't moving. Laundry already. bags with us. Yeah, laundry bags. They they wasn't moving nothing anyway. They like, yeah, you gotta stay here till, you know what I'm saying, they start moving. So we were like, oh shit, let's just see, give them, take a Greyhound yeah. or a mega bus to what the next spot. To go. Yeah, so we went there, they were like, yeah, we, we got a bus go there, but it's 150 per person. 
Yeah, 150 per person. Without. So let me go back a little bit. So we 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 got to Milwaukee. Somebody told us we far from where we was. We went back to the Greyhound. Match I was cold as hell. I'm gonna keep saying that because I will never forget that. We went back to the Greyhound. They told us it was 150 per person. We didn't have that. So we just there chilling online. Uh, so we spent two days there. Like yeah. Two, like two, three days. Yeah. Two years. So we spent the whole day there. So we we spent the night at the ground. Right. So this this because we by the time we made it there it was like it was late. It was already late. Yeah. So we so stayed at the Greyhound. Stayed at the Greyhound. Woke we'll up in the morning. Had them again. It said it was still still one song. So we didn't have. And I'm like damn. Ooh. I, yeah. We yeah. You gonna have to just wait it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just got a lot of people going because you know the weather. Mm -hmm. Like oh shit. So we. Think of a game and we like, bro, what are we gonna do? Cause we yes. keep spending money on yes, we, eating. Yeah. Like we had to get like a little snack, we trying to scratch that shit. And yeah, my cousin did not have no car. So she just had people no thinking behind their head, she did not have no car. Then like we we still there, like we We still in the gray house. We still in the gray house just chilling. So we trying to my, my my homie OG passed away. Yeah. While I was in the, yes, that was crazy. Your best friend. Yeah, my best friend. Yeah. While we running away in the Greyhound, his best it's friend, mom, passed, passed away. away. Yeah. Close. So we like, oh, damn. it's already blowing up. Yeah, Imagine, I'm like, bro. We, we can't go nowhere because the ticket study being going up. going up. So we like, what we gonna do? So now this like the second, this the second night in the Greyhound. So yeah. Garnell trying to think of a game plan. Yeah, because so, I, I'm about to go back. I'm like, yeah. Bro, my my homie, my close friend, mom just passed away. Grew yeah. up with her. Yeah. Could it we we couldn't even do that. We couldn't even get back. We couldn't even go back home. We couldn't even go back. We 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 were just about to be like, fuck it, and go back and just listen to my mama say I ha. Yeah. <laughs> so she was gonna say, ah, ah. <laughs> so we think that we, so we pissed off, we think of a game plan, y'all. This fool called the police. Uh, so yeah, now it's getting late again. It's getting, this the second night. So we like, bro, we're not gonna stay here. We're gonna try to get a ride. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking of a game plan. I'm like, bro, let's call the police. And act like we just got robbed. Yes. And we just need a ride to, um, Applebee's, whatever the fuck that shit was. <laughs> Apple, whatever, Apple to Applewood, whatever. Applewood. And she said, let's hope it works. So he, he calls the police, y'all. The police come. They get all our information. Man, y'all, I'm in tears. I'm crying. Yeah, they, she got she going they, crazy. They got him outside asking him questions. He making up stories like he got robbed. Yeah, I got robbed. I, I, I walked around the corner and robbed. We got all this just because we want somebody to give us a ride. To, to, to Applebee. We just want a ride. So he outside making up a story that one police questioning him, another police questioning me. We didn't plan this. I don't know no, what he outside saying. Yeah. I didn't say it. <laughs> I mean, we didn't even creating a story. We just making up a story. I, my story was I walked around the corner, somebody robbed me. He was like, give me everything. I gave him everything. He left my ID and my um, wallet with me. He didn't take nothing else. <laughs> um, my clothes are still up in the Greyhound. And that's the only way we had a chance to get to our destination. Yeah. So. And then while the other police was questioning me, he was just like, I just kept on, I ain't gonna lie, I just kept on telling her, ask him, ask him, because he, he the one that was outside, ask him, ask yeah, exactly. him. Did they, they. It's already still cold, y'all, still. Yeah. One of the coldest, the, the police was like, man, just tell us the truth, bro, we know. Yeah, so at, at the end of the day, the police put two and two together, was like, some ain't right, y'all, y'all just tell us the truth. So Danielle was like, yeah, man, we stuck here. We really just trying to get a ride. So the police was like, we can't get y'all a ride that far. Yeah, but. But y'all can go to a shelter. Yeah, to at least warm up and eat and all that stuff. Did so, they take us to the shelter? They took us to the shelter. Yeah, they took They, they said, we going to leave through that to y'all. So we grabbed our stuff. We they said, we'll take y'all back in the morning. We'll make sure y'all get back to the Greyhound, the Greyhound in the morning. And um, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna make sure y'all good. Shelter for people that was homeless and yeah. ain't had nowhere to stay at the moment. Like people with pipes were busting, all that stuff. So yeah. they had to go go somewhere where they could be warm. Well, it was warm. Yeah, Man, so they, the talking. church was doing all this. So the public house, yeah, clothes. they had everything. Food, clothes, everything. Now they got mm -hmm. some clothes. Yeah, y'all got some drip out of that. <laughs> <laughs> like this. So I, so 
look y'all we get to the shelter and whatnot my, what's going through my head is i just can't believe this right now i just can't believe this is our life right now like we really in here in the shelter it felt like home alone Yes, it felt like, man, y'all, we young. We used to be in kind of spoil, like, had everything at home. The thing is, we just wanted to be with each other. So, we get to the shelter. We Long story short, we got spending night at this shelter. In chairs. Uh-huh. We were sleeping in chairs. I'm going to die there. <laughs> sobbing, y'all. All night. Sobbing, crying. I'm just like, what did we get ourselves into? So we stuff in the shelter. This this food getting clothes, eating all their food. Yeah, you can't good take time. him. You can't take him nowhere. Talk me, to the home. Yeah, like, hey, what you want to hear for? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going home. And like he in jail. So what you up in here for? <laughs> Same reason you up in here. They cold, y'all. He in there having a good time, meeting people, getting clothes, eating. I'm just in there like. Yeah, and they they, 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 they was good. Yeah. TV was on. Yeah. No, it was it was just. What it was. It was a bad You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. Mm. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We had to wait. So We had to wait. So the morning hit. The police that took us the actually came back and took, took us. us back to the great Yeah, house. he was hey. like, yeah, bro, y'all, y'all should be good now. And yeah. But then when we got there, we had better news. The yeah. prices went the, down. Down a lot. A I lot. think it was like, like $50, $50. Yeah, $50 a person. That's crazy. How do you other two days? It was one song. We get to the great we get back to the great house, y'all. It's like so cheap. Now it's like fifty dollars per person. Yeah. Yeah, so we paid the little we finally get on the right great house. We getting up, we gotta take a bus to get. Alright, so we yeah. first we got off the other bus, the Greyhound bus to get. Like we finally where we supposed to be at. Oh uh, yeah, so, we so take uh, once we get bus. to the Apple place, Applewood, whatever, Wisconsin. We get on another bus. She still ain't got no car, so we still yeah. gotta get to her. Yeah. So we gotta get on another bus to get to her. Yeah. That was pretty far too, but we had to. Yes. It was a long way. But when we finally got there, boom. They dropped us out right in front of her yeah, building. It was dark. Yes. Like, oh my God. It dropped us out right in front of her building, y'all. We walked across the street. We walked across the street and we was there. Cold. <laughs> Cold, y'all. Was was down there. That was how many days that was from Chicago to Wisconsin? That was three days. Three, yeah. How that happened? Three cold nights. Just imagine running away with your, the love of your life. <laughs> And y'all just go through some tragic stuff like that. And then my thing is, y'all know I hate the cold. I really, really hate the cold. So bad being so cold. It was cold in Wisconsin. It was in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Bad like I said so one cold, of the coldest That made it worse. It made it. It made it. It was worse. like below twenty for sure. Yes. Below ten for sure. It was like one of the coldest winters in Milwaukee. And we having to get in the mix of that shit. And y'all, we did all of that to go back home. Yeah, all it took was thirty days. Well, you know, it was a goal. We stayed in Wisconsin for that long? Yeah, after that. Day. So we tried to see, what well, can we find something? It was first. First, it was cool. It's crazy. It, it, was, it was the first day. I was, I was going places just trying to get, like, up in certain places. But, yeah. shit, they weren't calling. Yeah, the job. Yeah, it wasn't working. I didn't know we stayed that long. But staying with her, the bathroom. I, I stayed there so long, I made a rap with people. Yeah. You, you always meet people everywhere you go. Yeah, but at the end of the day... Like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't knew what we want to do. Now yeah. we what we at now. But we ain't knew what we want to do back in the day. So, everything's still a process, y'all. Yeah. I mean, but. And then, with her, it was, it was a bad. Because she, she was around our age. So, she was young, too. So, she, she was helping us and stuff. She didn't want to treat us no different and all that. She was trying to help us make sure we got a job and all that. But yeah, yeah, we could. It just, we come found work. Our thing was, when we was, one thing about us is like, we want our own everything. We don't want to ask nobody for nothing. We want our own money, our own job. We never ask nobody for nothing. So it's like when we go places, even when we move to Atlanta, like we made sure we was. Y'all see how straight. we is now. We always got our own crib. We always got our own car. We want to make sure we straight at the end of the day. We don't want to ask nobody for nothing. So when we went to her house, she could she could get on here and tell y'all like we was looking for jobs. He was looking for jobs. Uh, I, was, I was filling out jobs every day. Like we was going crazy. And that's like the type of people. We is like ambitious. That's the word. Yeah, I mean, you know, and then you know, at the end of the day, we knew, we knew we had to get a job. So yeah. we tried our best to get one. We ain't found one. So we was like, so we had to go to, back home. We, we know back. at the end of the day in Chicago, we get a job. Yep, yeah, and it wasn't as, as expensive to go back. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, wasn't expensive. Wasn't cold. 
Auntie helps us out. Yeah. We got picked up by her mama. Yeah. And <laughs> <at> the Greyhound. <laughs> when we got back to Chicago. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It was like a point proof though, because her mama got off that though a little bit. Yeah. It wasn't as bad as what it was. Yeah, I feel like what going back and realizing like, okay, this who she like and who wants to be with and he's not a bad person, like like I just think that's a whole other story. I didn't get that interaction with not wanting me to be with him, but it eased up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cause mothers, you don't want your daughter home. You don't want your daughter right. feel like, you know what I'm saying? So it eased up a little bit, but still Y'all, that was our experience of running away. <laughs> yeah, that's, I can't a, we ran that's away. a runaway love story. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you know, like I said, it was just something we just tried. Yeah. Wisconsin probably wasn't the right place to do it. Yeah. It was just too cold, and I mean, we, I think we too fast for Wisconsin. Yeah. And that's another thing. It was just so slow right there. We yeah, like, it was. hey, hey, boy. And then we both started. Missing I didn't home. want to sell drugs. Did we both start missing home? Yeah. How did you feel about, you know, how did you feel about running away? Like, why did you do it with me? Because I loved it. You I loved, loved it or you yeah, loved it? Yeah, I loved it. You loved it or you loved it? I loved it. it. Yeah, I love, I love um, Xavier, so I did love it. Yeah. Because I ain't get no fuck. My people was cool, to be honest. Yeah. We had to deal with that sometimes, but yeah. it was it was handleable, but we was then I took down with that shit. And then we came back, we basically got on our ground. We got our first apartment. It hit so many Yeah, we all got we all got on our ground though, you know what I'm saying? It took us like a year. It took us a year, but we knew we, we knew what we wanted. We wanted our own career. Career. So, so. When, when it was time, it was time. As a matter of fact, it didn't take a year, so it took the next year. Yeah. Because I, I turned 21. Yeah. So. We got our own career yeah. full of roaches. Hey. <laughs> we came back, got on our ground, got our own uh, first apartment. And I mean, it, it still was a process of everything. We had to get a car first. Yeah. First thing first, we got a car. But that's the pros and cons of being in love, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that's our uh, runaway story. I got to figure out what I'm going to call it. Comment down below any other story tangent y'all want us to do, we will do it because we got a few things that went on in our life. Yeah. So as I, um, I can get all routes with the questions. But the, crazy, but the crazy part was, not gonna lie, is when we did run away and that happened to your friend mom. Yeah, yeah, like that was. Like, like, that was, was that was crazy. And I and I missed the funeral. Like I couldn't even make it. Y'all, yes. What? That's that's sick. That's crazy. That's crazy. So it was like it was too much going on at yeah. that time. So yeah, man. That's Maybe part. that's part of why people are like, he do anything for her. He do this for. Her. Yeah, I, I didn't make it to my best friend, Mama Froome. Y'all think I'm to blame for that? I felt, I felt devastated. Yeah, he was devastated. But do y'all think I'm to blame for that? Because people do they, they, both sides of our family take the same thing. I'm always do, do everything for him and he do everything for me. But I don't feel like I'm to blame for that. I don't know. But like, share, subscribe to her, her channel. I know I do my outro. I want to see me. Oh, I know I want to see you. Thank y'all for watching this video.